Next, we're going to export um, our sequence as a reference movie file. So if we go to File, Output, and Export to File, go to Options, and we're going to export as a QuickTime movie. We're going to export video and audio. And we're going to go to Custom Settings. So in the Format Options, we go to Settings. And the Compression Type, we're going to keep as Avid 1 to 1. Now if it's not already set at that, then choose that. Um, the frame rate should be kept at current and if you have a look at the compressor options here we're going to change the resolution to HD 720p. OK to that and OK to that. Um, in the video format you may need to change these width and height options. Um, for instance it may be giving you a smaller video size but we're going to keep this in 720 HD, so um, we'll keep that 1280 by 720. And make sure that is selected as size to fit, and the native dimensions is also selected there. Then we're going to go to save. Um, OK, we're going to choose where to put it. Um, and this is our reference video file, so I'm going to call this Rock Climber Pro Tools Ref. OK, so that's finished exporting. And we're just going to find that file in Finder. OK, so this is the one I've just exported. I'm going to open that with MPEG Stream Clip. And we can see here that the timecode has burnt in. And as the clips change, the clip name changes as well. So that's worked as we want. And we're just going to now export this, um, again as a QuickTime movie, but we're going to compress it as H.264. All the other settings there I'm going to keep the same. All I'm going to do is I'm going to save in a different location and I'm going to add H264 to the file name. So while that is exporting, I'm going to go back to Avid Media Composer. And now we need to export just the audio as an AAF file. 